What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.3 beta 6 just a few days after the release of beta 5. So of course in this video, we're going to take a look at the software and see if anything at all has changed and also give you guys a release date for the final version of iOS 12.3. So of course right off the bat, you could already tell that this is going to be a very minor update. I mean beta 5 was also a small update, but beta 6 here only 83.2 megabytes here on my iPhone 10R. And then if we go ahead and check out the build number right here you can see the build number is 16f5156a so once again we do have a build number ending with a which does usually indicate we are near the end of this beta cycle now one interesting thing to note is that we do still have the feedback application so this may not be the final gm build but i would probably go out on a limb to say that this may be the last beta release we'll talk about more of that later on in this video. But before we talk about the release date for iOS 12.3, let's talk about the changes here in beta six. And I will say that there's really nothing at all changed here. I mean, it was the same thing in beta five. There's just mainly bug fixes and backend security enhancements and things like that. And it's gonna be the same deal here with beta six. Now, one thing I can confirm is that the Safari bug with the video player, the Safari video player, the major issues that that was having have been completely fixed. In my beta five video, I mentioned how this was fixed, but I couldn't confirm that it was fixed for every single website but over the past couple days i have been trying it out on all the websites that had issues before and i never had the issues anymore so i, would, I could fast forward i could rewind and the video player wouldn't just stop working i wouldn't just see a black screen and not be able to watch the video anymore so i'm glad that that has been fixed because i would have hated to see apple push out this release with that issue still going on now as far as battery life and performance goes it's going to be the exact same as beta 5. i'm not going to sit here and waste your time and tell you the same thing over and over again in all these beta videos it's going to be pretty much the exact same as beta 5 and beta 5 was pretty much the same as beta 4 so iOS 12.3 is really well optimized and it runs great on all iPhones as expected is the final release of iOS 12 most likely before the iOS 13 beta starts and of course battery life is solid here on iOS 12.3 overall pretty much every beta has gotten me pretty good battery life you can see here over the last 10 days I'm averaging over six hours of screen on and off combined time and I usually do go to bed with a minimum of like 20% battery remaining. So really good battery life here in iOS 12.3 as expected. So no complaints at all with either battery or performance. Although I will say one thing I did notice is that yesterday I had a random freeze up in my settings application. I was basically in settings and I accidentally clicked on notifications as I was trying to scroll and then it froze up, but it was at the same time I was getting a text message. So I don't know what caused that. It was on my iPhone XS Max that was the first time I've really had a freeze up in settings pretty much at all through iOS 12.3, the beta cycle. So that was a little bit concerning, but it only happened one time. So it's basically just an anomaly and I don't expect it to happen very often. So now let's talk about the release date for iOS 12.3. So I said in my last video that we would probably see iOS 12.3 at the end of May, but now with two betas being released in one week, just three days apart from each other, that leads me to believe that this may be the final beta build and that the final official release is next. So we can expect iOS 12.3 to be released to everyone either early next week, and if not early next week, the week of the 20th. Now, one thing that I'm interested in seeing is that Apple usually starts a new beta cycle immediately following a public release, but they may not be doing that this time since iOS 13 beta one is just right around the corner at the beginning of June. We'll have to wait and see what Apple does, but pretty much throughout the iOS 12 beta cycle, we would get a new beta after the public release of the previous version every single time, with iOS 12. But again, we may not see that since iOS 13 beta one is right around the corner. And I also wanna mention that just because we have the feedback app here and just because we have a build number with an A at the end also doesn't mean that this can't be the final build, the final release, because we've seen that before with iOS 12 where they don't actually push out a GM you know, with a short build number and without the feedback app and that ends up being the final build. So we'll have to wait and see. There's still a lot of questions, but we could probably expect the release of iOS 12.3 within the next couple of weeks. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to bring you a quick video on iOS 12.3 beta six, just letting you know it's been released and also when to expect the final release of iOS 12.3 to the public. So if you guys enjoyed this short video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more videos coming soon. I will have a top tweaks video coming soon for A12 devices. I was gonna release it this week, but it's probably gonna end up being next week so stay tuned for that i know a lot of people have been wanting me to make and release that video but anyways guys thanks again for watching the video and i'll see you soon